good afternoon, students. Two videos already we done. Our theme is come with the third one. The third one is given as differentiation with the help of log. So first, I am giving you some rules of log that you are supposed to use. The first is log m into n. That should be written as log m plus log n. Log m by n should be written as log n minus log n. Log n to the power n should be written as n into log n. And log one value whatever you have to use is to write the value as equal to zero. So these are the three basic rules that we have to use if it is required in a particular question. Especially this is going to be very important in our differentiation. So you have to use log n to the power n equal to n into log n in almost all the questions. So first we should look into why we have to differentiation or we have to take the log. So first we have three examples I am writing here. Y is equal to x to the power x. Next is y is equal to sin x to the power cos x. Next is y is equal to x to the power log x. So you can compare all these three examples that I have written here. That is a difference you'll find. The difference is what earlier this situation is never given where we have to differentiate variable power with respect to variable. For this one sin x to the power cos x means where is the variable given its power is also given as a variable. In the next one y is equal to x to the power log x, the same situation is here. Here the variable power is again given as the variable. Earlier whatever question is given to you, in most of the question the variable's power was given as, as a constant like, like this. See that. y is equal to x square maybe, y is equal to sin square x maybe. So variable's power is given as a constant in almost all the questions. This is the first time when in differentiation this situation is given when the power of the variable is itself a variable. The power of the variable is itself a variable. Here also you are looking the power of this variable is itself a variable. So when the power of the variable is given as a variable, it means this standard property you cannot use. That is standard property you cannot use. You have to think something different. And different thinking makes you have to use some concept of mathematics so that you can find the divide by ds of it if it is not in the standard format. So that what you have to do to find the solution of this type of situation that first you have to take log both side. So when you are taking log both side, you should write like that, you can write that one as log y that is equal to log x to the power x. Now log x to the power x when you are writing its mean, this is near to the standard format of log, which is standard format we can use, log m to the power n. So that is standard format we can use, you can write x into log x for that. Now after using the standard format of log, now go to the differentiation to the side. So you can write d by dx of this log y on that side, you can write d by dx of x into log x. So both sides when you are differentiating, write it. After that, go to the differentiation of it. So here we have to take care again. First you have to do the work of this log y. So log y differentiation will be just like log x, you know log x differentiation is 1 by x. So log y differentiation you have to write 1 by y and then you have to differentiate y with respect to x. So you can write dy by dx of. That is equal to now in this side again u into v rule you are supposed to use. So first function into second function rule we have to use by writing here. First function into differentiation of second plus second into differentiation of first, then go for the differentiation of So you can write x into differentiation of log x to the 1 by x plus this log x and differentiation of x with respect to x to the equal to 1. x x you can cancel, so it will become as 1 plus you can write this log x. So what ultimately you are getting that 1 by y to divide by dx equal to 1 plus log x. So you can write divide by dx equal to y into 1 plus log x. At last you should replace the value of y and the value of y already given to you as x to the power x. So replace the value of y as x to the power x to find divide by dx as x to the power x into 1 plus log x. So this will be your final divide by dx. So again, once again I am repeating why it is needed to take log. This situation is totally different. Earlier the standard format was given variable's power as a constant. Here the variable power is itself a variable. So that's why without taking log or using the concept of exponent, you cannot find the divide by dx of it. So that's why use log and take the help of log 
of log so that you can find finally the value of u by one minus. So all these two questions that I have given in that one also you are supposed to do the same thing, take log and then find u by d x. So thank you. Hope so you have understood it. So try to solve it at your home as many questions as possible. Thanks once more. Thank you.